Okay, so here's a second video on 322 because I did one um, earlier in the week. And this one, since we already got through 17 and I showed you how to send a file to your real computer, um, I did want to kind of show you how to um, record stuff from a Linux machine like this guy and a Windows machine like this guy and how they look. They're doing the same thing, but they look different. So you want to make sure you have your um, notebook open for 322 and be filling that out as you go um, and have this open so you can see. Um, so what we're going to do, we already did recording for this guy to this guy and he went and got files and so these two can communicate. Um, this guy can communicate with pump PLC with file transfers. What we're going to do right now is monitor what happens when this guy sends files to the website. And we're going to monitor it from his perspective and for this guy's perspective. Okay, so let's see how that goes down. The first thing I want you to be careful of is when it says re repeat steps two through four for the TCP dump pump monitor um, with a baseline, make sure you don't like accidentally grab the wrong one. I know it does stay two to four, but if you use this one, it's going to be wrong because this one is made for PLC to be monitoring. Um, so you want to go up steps two to four. Basically just copy this thing down and you're starting to record all the traffic on pump monitor. You're going to name it baseline two because instead of recording the communication between these two, that was baseline one is the communication between these two. We're going to record the communication between these two. So this is how networks work. It's crazy. Um, so I want to go in here, open up a, a connection to the pump monitor and sign in. I'm going to pause it while I go through all the nonsense of typing this in, and then we'll get back together here. All right, so I went into my connections and pump monitor, did the password, typed this crazy thing in again. So right now, you can tell it's listening. It's doing a TCP dump and just recording all the traffic that's happening, as long as it's not on port 22. Um, port 22 is this guy's communication with this guy. So we don't want to be recording that when we're trying to see how these two communicate. Remember, this is baseline, so this is what should be happening. So now you go to Connections folder and open up Web01. What's different is it's um, a Windows machine. So when you open it up, it's going to look like this. Remember when we open up that machine in a machine? So here it is. And the problem with this is you cannot, um, you can't do that TCP dump because it's a Windows machine and we're going to use Wireshark to record the traffic. So this is weird. On this machine, we're doing Linux TCP dump with that terrible piece of code. On uh, Web01, which is a Windows machine, we are doing a Wireshark to capture all the files. So we're going to open up Wireshark right here. There it's opening. And then we want Ethernet 4 and we put not port 3389 or port 22. Make sure you get the parentheses right. Um, and that means it won't get our virtual machine or uh, here's Ethernet 4. And we want not port. 3389 or, oh shoot, I think I need parentheses here. Let me double check. Yes, not parentheses port 3389 or port 22. Let's oh, see, it's cool that I went green. And I clicked Ethernet 4, don't click Ethernet 2. Because our old thing we did it. And you can see it's starting to record data. Those are all the things it's doing. Um, so we're starting to capture. Now it's listening. They're both listening. So let's do something. Um, we're going to shrink that down and we're going to connect and transfer some files from Pump Monitor to Web01. Okay, so we need to FTP connect to it. Okay, so here I'm going to shrinky dink this down. I'm going to go on here. Um, I need to open another one because if I stop this, it's not going to be recording. So even though it's weird, I'm already connected to pump monitor. I open a new one so I can keep capturing data on the other one. So we log in as user, 
password, the FTP, um, shoot, I typed that in wrong. Okay, FTP to 10.2. dot is that guy? 0 0.7 is my other one. So we're connecting to them. Um, username, I think they said it's anonymous. What is it? Anonymous has no password. Okay. Okay. It's allowed. Wait. Um, when prompted for password, just hit the enter key. So that's a little different. We don't actually need a password. Okay. We're logged in. We're FTP connected. So if you had a visual, we just made a connection. Be we're both recording, and we just made a connection between these two guys with FTP. It's really from this guy's computer with FTP to that guy's computer. Okay. So now we're going to do something, and um, we're going to... Um, change directories in the FTP route uh, to inetpub, which if you remember is where all your <clears throat> internet stuff is. When we hacked a website, it was in inetpub. So um, we have to put log files into the FTP route directory because that's where log files reside. So we're going to type in this, change directory, inetpub slash FTP root. Make sure I spelled all that right. Yep. Okay. We're going to hit enter. Boom. Command successful. That's awesome. Um, now we're going to put something. So in the past, we used FTP to get something. This is different. So now I remember last time I went onto this computer and I grabbed a file and brought it back. Now we're going to take that file and send it this way. So in, when I want to grab it, I say get. When I want to send something, I say put. So we'll go here, and we're going to uh, put pump underscore log dot txt over to the other guy. Okay, so let's try that. Um, where is that? Okay, so put pump underscore, is it underscore? Pump log, pump underscore log dot txt. Um, and if I just type that in, it should put it there. Oh no. Ah, seriously? It said we have to repeat steps 7 through 10 to get the above. Gosh darn it. All right, I'm going to pause and do that real quick. Okay, so this didn't take as long as I thought. Um, I opened up a third pump monitor thing. And I typed in FTP 10.2.0.5 so I can make a connection to this dude again. Oh, and then I typed in Vagrant Vagrant. And then I typed in um, LS to look inside their data. And when you look in, there's the pump log I need. So basically, I need to, I'm here. I need to get the pump log from here and then put it over here. You're the middleman. You can't send it directly from pump PLC to dub web01. For some reason, we can we have to use the pump monitor as like the transfer tool. So I'm going to get pump underscore log dot txt. Hit enter. Looks like it got it. Now I should be able to go. Wait, let me see if I... Oh, I can quit that one. Okay. So we'll type quit. Okay, so I'll close that guy down. Now I go back to my other connection, and this one's connected to um, the Web01, and now I can put pump log.txt onto that one. And it did. Look at that. It didn't give me an error that time. Okay. And then we're going to quit. Boom. So we quit our FTP connection between them. Um, oh, shoot. I might not have wanted to do that. Maybe I did. Oh, yeah. There it is. Um, and then close that pump monitor set session. And then it's been recording the whole time. 
So see this guy still going, just like on the other machine Wireshark's been recording? So we just sent files over and we want to see what that looks like. So um, when I hit Control C, it's going to create this baseline 2 doc. Um, and yeah, so basically let's do that. Let's save it as, we'll hit enter. Where is it? Oh, Control C. Boom. So it basically finished collecting packets and it saved it as uh, that thing. Okay. Now we're going to shrink. Wait, I think we did that. Oh, close that. Okay. And then we go to web 01. So let's close this guy. Boom. Yes, I want to close that. So we go to web01, this guy, and we want to stop this um, and save it first. So we're going to hit save. Do I have to stop it first? Yes. And then file, save as. So when we save it, it's down here, Wireshark slash, I wonder what our choices are. TCP dump, I think, just so they're compatible. Yeah, so we had to switch that, and it's our name. Um, okay, good. Underscore, and this one was the um, Web01 baseline, too. Baseline 2. Okay, so we're saving it as that, and we change it to TCP dump. Hopefully, you did that. And then we're going to hit save. And I want to save it on my desktop. Why not, right? Unless it tells me where else to save it. Okay. All right, so here I need to transfer this file. It's on my desktop. See, it's right there. I want to change the transfer that guy to my um, actual computer. Um, so here's how you do it from a Windows machine. We know how to do it from a Linux to a Linux. We already did that with get. But now I need to go back into pump monitor, um, connect to this um, follow these directions here, open PowerShell. Um, on target Windows 01, do FTP bi binary, and go grab it from Pop Monitor. Um, so we can get that one from them. These guys, oops, yeah. Shoot. I probably shouldn't have moved that. And we should have FTP'd to this guy and grabbed him. I would have followed that a little better next time. Um, so anyway... The directions for 31 are how to get the files back off of Pump Monitor to target Windows 01, which we've done before. And then you're going to go target Windows, open up File Explorer, and um, and grab them. Oh, sorry. This stuff we want to get uh, from target Windows 01. We want to get them from the Wireshark file and the other file. So. Here's the directions on how to do that, and hopefully that works for you. Oh, and make sure when you're transferring files on here that you put them in the guacamole download, which is not on this machine, it's on this machine, to get them to your real computer. Any files you want on there, make sure you don't just put them in here, you put them in the download file, and then they transfer to your computer. All right, hopefully that got you moving. If you have questions on it, let me know. We'll probably look at this in class and do some of it together. All right, talk to you later, people. Adios.